Uh, good morning guys my name is Shivir Nastana I am a second year law student from WIPS IP Delhi so today I'll be talking about the topic POCSO Act or Child Sexual Abuse Act or Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses Act 2012 so basically uh, child sexual abuse has only been you know, recently uh, publicly acknowledged as a problem in India uh, basically the development has been the enactment of a special law which is the POCSO Act which was introduced in 2012 which is known as protection of children from sexual offenses this has basically been uh, criminalizing a range of uh, acts including child rape harassment exploitation and pornography so basically poxo is protection of children from sexual offenses this was enacted in 2012 to address the sexual abuse amongst children so basically the most important factor of this act is that it states that even boys can be a victim Notably this law recognizes sexual harassment of child which involves touch and also which doesn't so basically section 11 and 12 of POCSO act such as talking making a child expose themselves or exposing themselves to a child and uh, furthermore so basically the POCSO act specifically lays down stringent punishment for exposing children to or using them to create sexual abuse material which is referred under section 13 uh, 14 and 15 such as pornography and various things So basically while POCSO does not explicitly recognize grooming experts say that section 11 of the act which can be interpreted to recognize and criminalize criminalize it wherein grooming involved act of establishing and building a relationship with a child either in person or online as to facilitate either online or offline sexual contact with the child section 67b of IT act does criminalize it so the procedure indulged in the POCSO act is basically very child friendly So first is uh, getting this statement recording at their residence or a place of their choice and preferably by a woman police official or an official not below the sub inspector rank in civilian clothes in order to you know make the child comfortable with the uh, circumstances and secondly the police official should ensure that during the investigation the child shouldn't come in contact with the accused because it would scare them and you know make them change their decisions and all and various things So basically the child cannot be detained at the police station at night and his and her identity should be protected from the public and media unless and otherwise uh, directed by the special code. So basically their identity should be confidential and should not be revealed to the public. The if the survivor is a girl the medical examination should be done by a woman doctor and the examination can only be done in the presence of a parent or a person the child trust. If neither of the two are there then the examination should not be done in the presence of a woman, woman should be done in the presence of a woman nominated by uh, the head of the medical institution so basically ipc and poxo go hand in hand but there is there is some you know basic some distance uh, some difference between them so i'll take an example for 376 uh, rape case for example in the case of, uh, for, uh, for example if a person commits a crime under poxo and as well as he uh, uh, commits a crime under ipc so he will be booked under both and he'll not he'll be punished uh, very hardly so for example in the case of uh, state versus pralad on 1st september which was uh, on held on 1st september 2016 the accused was booked under section 302 of ipc and as well as under section 3 and 4 of poxo act he was charged with murder of an 8 year old deceased girl the scenario in poxo is diff- this bit difference from I- ipc so basically the law uh, lays down and procedures from reporting uh, reporting sexual crimes against children uh, under section 19 of the act it is mandatory to report sexual crimes against gender against the children including where there uh, there has been you know the offense under the act has been committed so basically uh, the child protection law is unique because it places the burden of proof on the accused following guilty following the principle guilty until proven innocent unlike the ipc as in ipc it, it states that innocent until uh, until proven guilty right so they, they, this is the difference between ipc and poxo the main difference because obviously poxo is uh, indulged in the ch- protection of children uh, from the pro- children from sexual offenses but this is a slight difference from the uh, legal point of view so uh, Recently, you guys too have might heard about the controversial decision of a poxo case in the Bombay High Court by Justice Pushpa Ganedivala, in which she ruled that the pressing of the breast of a 12-year-old child in the absence of any specific detail as to where the top was removed or whether he inserted his hand in the top and pressed the breast would not fall in the definition of sexual assault. 
सो द एक्ट ऑफ प्रेसिंग द ब्रेस्ट कैन बी डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेक्शुअल असोल्ट बट प्रेसिंग द ब्रेस्ट कैन बी अ क्रिमिनल फोर्स टू अ वुमेन गर्ल विद इंटेंशन टू आउटरेज हर मॉडेस्टिंग सो बेसिकली कोर्ट सेंटेंस द अक्यूज अंडर सेक्शन थ्री फिफ्टी फोर ऑफ द इंडियन पीरियल कोर्ट फॉर आउटरेजिंग वुमेन्स मॉडेस्टी विद अ वन ईयर इंप्रेजनमेंट फॉर द माइनर ऑफेंस एंड नॉट अंडर पॉक्सो सो दिस वॉज अ बेट कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल डिसीजन बाय द जस्टिस पुष्पा गनेडी वाला सो दिस वॉज अ लॉट इन द न्यूज सो यू आई गेस यू माई हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस सो दिस वॉज टू रिलेट द पॉक्सो थिंग विद यू सो इन दी एंड आई विल ट्राई टू कंक्लूड दैट दिस एक्ट वॉज अ मच नीडेड पीस ऑफ लेजिस्लेशन फॉर क्रिमिनलाइजिंग सेक्शुअल एक्ट्स अगेंस्ट चिल्ड्रेन इट विल हेल्प द चिल्ड्रेन टू गेट दिन दे जस्टिस थैंक यू